In this video, I'm going to show you how I use my GoPro Hero 7 as a webcam on my MacBook Pro. Are you like me? You have been streaming live with your laptop for the past few days and don't like the low quality of your webcam? Me too. I wish the webcam has got a higher quality. I could always go out and buy a higher quality webcam, but um, I have already a GoPro sitting at home doing nothing. So now, I'm going to show you how I connect my GoPro Hero 7 to my MacBook Pro as a webcam. First of all, what do you need? Of course, you need to have your GoPro sitting around doing nothing. Next, you will need a micro HDMI to HDMI cable. Then you will need a HDMI capture card. Finally, you will need to get a USB to USB cable. I will leave the links in the description to where you can get all these items. Next, there's something that you need to know. It doesn't work on every GoPro model. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set it up with my GoPro Hero 7 Black. It will also work on the GoPro Hero 6 Black and the 5 black. It will not work on the GoPro models without the word black because it does not have the HDMI output. It will also not work on the GoPro Hero 8 because it also does not have the HDMI output. You will need to get an extra module called the Media Mod. So that being said, let's begin. First of all, there are a few settings that you need to do on a GoPro before we can set it up. The first thing is to switch to video mode. Next, go into the settings. Turn on ProTune. Next, you want to ensure that the stabilization is off. Otherwise, it will cause some lagginess. And I like to set my EVCOM to a higher value. Otherwise, my image will be rather dark. So set to a higher value for a brighter image. As for the rest of the settings, it's personal preference. Like over here, color, I prefer to choose flat because the other option is a little bit too saturated for me. Okay, so it's personal preference. Once we have done the video settings, we will now go into the next one. Okay, we swipe down and go into preferences. Okay, and scroll down to input output. Click on input output. And we want to set our HDMI output to live. Once that is done, we go back into our camera mode. Okay. Next, because I'm going to use my GoPro as a webcam, I would like to put it on a stand. And this is my favorite stand attached to the housing that came with my GoPro. So let me put in, put a GoPro into the housing. That is, that is provided by the GoPro when you bought it. I'll leave a link down to below where you can get this stand. Okay, I can bend the legs and place it anywhere on any surface. Okay, I can even pluck it up here. See that? On top of my screen. So now it's a webcam. No, it's usually not facing this way. The camera will be facing me. Okay, you can bend the, bend the legs to fit. Now, because I'm going to use the GoPro as a webcam, I'm going to stream for like one hour to two hours. The battery, the built-in battery may not last that long. So I will need to plug in an external power supply. In order to do that, remove the cover of the port connectors. So let me put it back into the housing. Okay, we are not going underwater, so without the cover it's fine but place this place this somewhere safe so that you remember to put it back the next time you're going outdoors again and underwater i'm going to plug in my usb power okay and on the other end is attached to the ac power supply with a usb power adapter so now our gopro is ready we'll do the next setup Next, you will need your micro HDMI to HDMI cable. Plug the micro HDMI connector into the HDMI port. 
just next to the USB-C port. Now this is a HDMI capture device, or I'll prefer to call it HDMI to USB converter. What I'm holding right now is an unbranded device, but what I would recommend is you get a more reputable brand. I'll put the brand in the description below. Take the other end of the HDMI cable and plug into the HDMI capture device. On the other end of the HDMI device is a USB port. Now grab your USB to USB cable, connect one end to the HDMI capture device, plug the other end of the USB cable into an empty USB port of the Mac. If you are using the latest MacBook Pro, you may need a USB to USB-C adapter. Next, fire up your streaming software. For me, I'm using OBS and uh, I'm going to tell OBS to select the new capture device. So I'll click on the video capture device settings and that will bring me to the device option. Okay, right now it's using my built-in webcam, the MacBook Pro's built-in webcam. I'm going to change it to the device that is just plugged in and they call it the FHD Capture. Whatever brand you buy, they will call it a different name. So let me select it and just use the preset. Okay, once that's done, tap OK. So now my GoPro is my webcam. I can place it on top of my, of my MacBook Pro like that, simply like that. Grip the legs, bend the head. The next question for those who are more advanced. What if you want multiple cameras? Let me recommend to you the Blackmagic Design A10 Mini. This is what I've been using for multiple camera live stream. I can plug in four cameras, four HDMI input. I could have four GoPros or even one GoPro and a mix of other cameras with HDMI outputs. And there's a single output from here that goes into the MacBook Pro as one webcam signal. So all the switching is done right over here. The latest version is the ATEM Mini Pro. So that's my GoPro webcam. Do you have any other ways to connect the GoPro to your computer as a webcam? Feel free to leave your suggestions in the comments below or you can leave a question. If you like this video, click the thumbs up. Even better still, share this video with your friends. And if you haven't done so, subscribe! This is Adrian Lee from videolane.com. See you in the next one.